What do you think see here? Test, test, test. Check, check. This one's not even on. This is one now. Okay. Test, test, test. Check, check. Oh, it is there. It's there, bro. It's just weaker, but. Test, test. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. And with the bands, first off, we have Jaw D. Or Dodge G. I don't even know what she does. Do you, Mr. Do you, Mr. Bosak? That one I do not. Sun Wukong. I am familiar with Sun Wukong. He is a warrior solo lane. And Morgan LeFay, I believe you can run her either mid lane or jungle. She's kind of a flex pick. King Arthur on the side of Carney Hot. Is that Carney? Yep, blue is Carney High. Convenient. With the red being Beatrice. Yes. Going around. Oh, and they took Poseidon on the side of Carney High and along with Coomber Hakaraka. I certainly hope he doesn't get a lot of kills because that'll be really hard to say. And on the side of Beatrice, we have Sun Wukong, Morgan Le Fay, Cerberus, and Izami, and Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh being the warrior. Izami, Cerberus probably in the duo lane. Morgan Le Fay. Well, no. Sun Wukong is also, maybe Sun Wukong is a jungler. We will have to see. They do have a Freya. They do have a Poseidon. Poseidon on the side of Carney High will be a good mid laner. He is mostly used for his ultimate, which in a team fight does monstrous amounts of damage. We will wait for the three minutes. We will wait for the three minutes to go. Looking at some of the bands, that that is a. Uh, uh, uh -huh. She is a very popular, popular player and band. The Sobak being an interesting band. I know he is a support that that can grab guys, throw them behind them. So he's really good for picks. Right. High crowd control. Mm -hmm. Um. Who ye? Did we have? Yeah, we had that last, had that oh, last no. game. No, yeah, you're right. There was. I no. think there was, which there is was. also a good. Um, and and we had a Fenrir last game too, which is also um, a jungler ban. So we do have Shiva. Shiva is the is one of the newest gods that that they had. Um, Along with a standard Zeus band, Zeus being very powerful right now. Not familiar with this warrior at all. And they did ban the Bakasura. I'm pretty sure if both teams, whoever wins this, whoever wins this game, um, will probably, that'll be a pretty easy ban. Yeah, I would guess that's definitely going to be I would definitely... Not let Lincoln High have the Bakasura again, unless I had a death wish. <laughs> King Arthur, though, I've had a team that has picked King Arthur. King Arthur is, I, I believe he's kind of more of a spin to win, kind of like a Garen from League of Legends. That plays that. Not familiar with Fran, familiar with Poseidon, and not familiar with Poseidon's interesting um Kumba I'm just gonna call him Kumba Kumba Hakanara Kumba Hakanara I don't it doesn't even say where he's from but, but the sleeping giant Jadi oh Jadi being the nine-tailed fox how fun you can look at stats Oh, this is a this is an assassin, so probably their jungler, being the nine-tailed fox. Most likely. Yep, Morgan Le Fay being their mid lane mage. Got some people cheering for Beatrice in the chat. There you go. 
All right, we're going to have a quick audio check. There you go. And hopefully very soon we will be starting with our game with Carney High and Beatrice. Test. Test one, check. <laughs> Test. I don't, know if you're on. I don't even know if I'm. No, I don't know if you're on. I don't know if I'm on either. It says I am. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and yes, catch us do. up. Be good here. here we go. Lots of pings. We'll go see what's going on. Not much. Just preparation. Everybody doing a little dance at the beginning. With a zombie Cerberus. Looks like we got Morgan Le Fay and Gilgamesh getting ready. Sun Wukong, King Arthur in the solo lane, Poseidon, and then Dodgy going to go ahead and take out the their respective buff. Speed camp. Some pinging over there. Lots of pinging. And we blue will go Carney. to lane. Yep, Carney is blue. Beatrice in the red. And Beatrice in the red. Here we go. And we got oh, some. Action. Everybody just going right in. Poke, yeah. <laughs> going right in with a little extra poke. In the duo lane, it looks like that Beatrice will hit level two first and then level, level two also. Pushing in. Okay, having that Morgan Le Fay pushing in the Poseidon, that is pretty much to be to be expected. Poseidon, not the super strongest laner, but but extra good in a team fight. Sun Wukong going to go and flip his side and checking back, pushing him in under tower, and we have a kill. Sun Wukong going in too hard, and Carney Hides, King Arthur, going to go ahead and get the kill. Looking, looking up here for the jungler. Got a little, they're going after the Izami. Oh, will she get up? There she does. She does turning back, and with the jungler on the Cerberus, I don't think they quite have the damage there, and especially with the Freya. In the in the backside, going to go ahead and just clean everything up. Poseidon going ahead and just and just continuously continually farming, having to play extra safe with the Gilgamesh and the and the Morgan Le Fay there. Yeah, I 
it looks like one isn't gonna work there. Yeah, it looks like he's having a hard harder time staying within the XP range. Oh, and Kublai Khan, oh, went a little too far forward. Pop, looked like he got CC down. It's not Kublai Khan, but whatever his name is. Kuahoa. Where in the world did that happen? <laughs> we just had another kill. This has come back and tied it up in the kill category. All right, and as we go through, looks like everybody just farming it up, taking out taking out a few, having a Cerberus on your team. Cerberus has just a natural thing of all um, healing items are halved. Oh, they'll take out the totem. Oh, we got a little run going over there. A little bit of poke back and forth. Back and forth there. Don't think too much is going to come from it. Just clearing waves, keeping everything farm. Poseidon just leveling up, clearing waves. Morgan's going to go. Trying to keep that Morgan Lefay. Yep. Going to invade. Going to double check the jungle, and then come in on Poseidon. Morgan Le Fay oh, with a down. lot of bursts. Poseidon trying to make it back safely under tower, but he does not make it back, and that is a kill for Beatrice. Looks like Dodge is going to. Oh, she is going to dive it. She is. I seen her thinking about it, and. Ew, I don't think she has the damage as of yet to be able to take that fight. Looks like Carney High is going to go ahead and push us in in the bot lane. King Arthur and Sun Wukong going back and forth. Sun Wukong looked like he has the advantage, but King Arthur. Oh, oh, is he going to? Oh! oh! Nice return kill, revenge kill by the Sun Wukong. I'm, I seem to be really loud. <laughs> And Sun Wukong will clean up getting to level seven. Being the first one to get to level seven with two to one, two to one in kills all already, or two kills and one death. Beatrice pushed up a little further than Carney at this point. Oh, not anymore. Yeah, just everybody. It seems to be pretty even, pretty even in the gold, less than a hundred or yeah, less than a hundred difference in gold. This is just everybody just taking it easy. We'll see a few explosive fight. Let's go over. Oh, looks like like oh, Dodgy yeah, coming in from behind. behind. That was a Poseidon ultimate, and Dodgy coming in with the extra damage, and it looks like she got him. That'll be a nice kill in the mid lane, and looks like they're gonna try to sandwich Gilgamesh, like three on one, but Gilgamesh with the jump. He's going to jump out. Jumping up there. Oh, 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 they got him back. They got him back. They drug him back with the ult from the nine-tailed fox. And the chase is on. Are they going to get him there? Oh, oh, and he jumps out. I think, oh, no, I don't think. Oh, he's going to turn it around. Oh, no, he went a little far. He was a little too. Oh. Right in the nick of time. Went a little too far, little too far on that chase. We'll check in with Freya here, the AD carry for for Carney High. Looks like okay. There comes the there comes the support. He's he's gonna come back down to lane. They're gonna go ahead and take the. Looks like Poseidon and Morgan just kind of dancing around in the jungle a little bit. Poseidon going to go back to lane. 
King Arthur pushed in Sun Wukong. Well, and he's... Oh, he well, just went into... Up. Went into... That's his ultimate there. Going to slice him up. And there's Sun Wukong going to ult him back. Uh-oh. And we have the Carney Jungler, the Nine-Tailed Fox, Dodgy, going to go in after Gilgamesh. I accidentally pressed it half speed. Pulled him back, pulled him back, and that's it for Gilgamesh. Sun Wukong going to try to do little damage, what little he can. Oh, no, King Arthur is going to dive it. He's going to dive it. Tank for Zhao Wei. Zhao Wei really wants it and is going to get out. Everybody, everybody is so low. Oh, Sun Wukong took him out. Sun Wukong, three and one now on the day with Morgan LeFay coming in saying, I want a piece of this. You don't know. You don't get to go back, King Arthur. You don't get a run. Got That's it. the way Morgan LeFay shows up. That's the way she comes into town. Poseidon's like, no, here's the Kraken. Let's go. Poseidon and Poseidon's like, nope, that's it. I'm done. Bye. <laughs> Be back and bye. Be back and bye. Bye. <laughs> we have ourselves a game, boys and girls. It's uh, not even 10 minutes in. It's not even 10 minutes in, and we are at oh, 11 kills. 11 oh, no, kills. There <laughs> are 11 kills, and these teams are just neck and neck. Trying to keep an eye on where the action is. Morgan LeFay at level 10. And she would be, what's her kill count at? That'd be better. Two and one, two kills. And for Carney High, it is It is their jungler. Their jungler being three and, and one. Really starting to, really starting to be. This is about the longest stretch without a fight. I know. Here it comes. Well, they're going to farm out the, each side <coughs> go slap each other a bit with some with some with some wet noodles and oh we got a little action going on oh did she get the azami nope oh they did they did they got the azami i think it was i think she was behind the pillar to where we couldn't see it but Chasing mid. All right, Cerberus going to go ahead and move into the into the mid lane. They're going to go ahead and take out. And yeah, so did the support for Carney High. The 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 you know the uh, the Kamla Hamalama Ding Dong is he <laughs> right there in the mid lane? Oh, going to going to take the XP cap. Everybody just really well. Oh, here goes Jati Dodgy. She's just like, I'm just going to run right on past you three guys. That doesn't even bother me. Poseidon throwing a wave to knock him off. Not quite sure where she's going. Going really deep into enemy territory. Gilgamesh is looking. Sun Wukong. Oh, she's looking for that kill on Sun Wukong. But he's gone. He's gone, so she's just going to take a camp. Gilgamesh is like, hey, there you are. I found you. Surprise. Um, yeah, like that. Oh, wait. She's like, no, you get back here, Gilgamesh. You're not allowed. You've got to get back here, and we're going to show you what's up. Some Wukong's like, oh, nope. I don't think I want to mess with you guys. I'm good. Thanks. Bye. I'll just get a hang out. Looks like we got Cerberus very, very low in the middle lane. Poseidon trying, missing his skill shot. Missing his second skill shot. Oh, no. Cerberus gets out scot free out of the mid lane. What a move. Oh, no. Cerberus gets out scot free out of the mid lane. XP again. Just farming it up. Okay. This tower here getting very low. Yeah. Very low. It's incredible. We have had 14 kills and no towers have gone down. Not one tower. <laughs> Not one tower. This is just 
Here we go. And they'll pass each other. Pass each other. Like, here we go. Let me let me get this very last minion. There we go. Now I'm just going to run back. Oh, they got a little bit of action. Oh, they got a little tower. A little bit of tower damage. Not quite. Not even half yet. Okay. It looks like they're letting their AD carry solo farm, probably probably to try to get them ahead in levels. Levels being about even. Levels being about even. They'll push. Then the AD carry is going to run into the jungle, seeing what camps they can take. Okay. Looks like we're just everybody farming up, taking a break in the action. Carney with... Kearney High with a very slight lead, but almost meaningless at this point. It's amazing how the numbers mirror themselves between these two teams. It Nobody's getting a distinct advantage. Nobody is. Looks like, again, Freya going to, going to take the little XP camp that's off to the side. Along with Jadi and... And oh, and Kumala Hama Ding Dong, Kumala Hama Ding Dong, gonna go ahead and engage on it. Ja D is going to. Looks like they're going after the Lafay. Blows up the Ja D though. Oh, Poseidon with his ult though. Nice, nice ult from the Poseidon. There goes King Arthur. Going to Gilgamesh jumping out. I don't think they can reach him. They don't think they can. Sun Wukong. Coming back through the jungle. I don't know. Don't see a whole yeah, lot right lot now. On. Not a lot it's going on. Out. Is kind of spread out. Yeah, I agree. I agree. A lot of. They would group up a little. I think they could get an advantage, but. Now Maybe. Beatrice, Beatrice is starting to come back together again. So yep. Sun Wukong and King Arthur. Right now, with their items, it's pretty much a wet noodle fight. <laughs> None of them have super amounts of damage. They can tank a lot, but they can definitely they can definitely tank a lot. Sun Wukong with with both defensive items. King Arthur. Yep. Rune Forge Hammer has has a oh, little bit of damage. Yeah. Oh, so there you go. She got him. She got him. Bringing him back yeah, to the tower. The Again, gonna King Arthur's going to tower dive got that. Jaw Dave's like, well, well, okay, fine. I can go in. Go in with the final amount of damage. Oh, no. He's trying to run. He went to the hawk form. Oh, Jaw Dave's giving up. Oh, Sun Wukong gets out. And Gilgamesh is going to dive. Gilgamesh says, it's my turn. I'm going to go in, and but this Jaw D, nine-tailed fox. They're going to have to get going. King Arthur, Morgan Le Fay is going to show up. Oh, and oh, Cerberus crashing the lane with more on the way. Everybody's starting to come with in With Shah Muhammad. Oh, Sun oh, Wukong's back. Wukong. Back. That was quick. Everybody is just Jaw D trying to get out. They're going to they're gonna focus down King Arthur. How did and Cerberus trying to slow him up, slow him them down. Sun Wukong, Jody gonna go go ahead and go back in, but their health bars are just too oh, high. Jody goes down. One fell. Now Beatrice with the advantage, clear. Sun oh, Wukong is now on the chase against the King Arthur and the Shaman Ding Dong. Morgan LeFay pouring on the damage from the back line. And, and the, oh, they have to wait. There it is. Poseidon coming in with the Kraken. Taking one, taking out the Morgan Le Fay. Sun Wukong is under tower. Oh, that was his, that was his, that was his buddy. That was his ult. And Izami and Sun Wukong going to go ahead and dishing cage. <laughs> Definitely. And after all that, the kills are tied. And they've taken, and, uh, Carney High has taken one tower. Incredible. This no, they haven't taken. Oh, they took this one. Yeah, the one up. Yep. Okay, Carney High took the tower from this side. There's only one tower down with 
with 42. Oh, wait, there we go. Frey is going to go ahead and take on the Cerberus, but here comes the Izami. Oh, she had the time to take on the Cerberus, but I think the Izami goes down too because Frey is level 17 and the Izami is level 13. That's a big difference there. Yep, it looks like. So Freya. It looks like the Freya is 4 0 and 1. Yeah, Freya at level 17 is going to be, and three items in, is going to really starting to do the damage and starting to come online. A little bit of back and forth in, in the mid lane. Pushing in Sun Wukong is King Arthur. And that is the second tower for Carney High as they are slowly just grinding this out. That just could pinch right there. Get that Carney player, King Arthur, but oh, they're trying to go around backside. Wukong and Arthur, we've seen this match yep. before. Yep, with their wet noodle fight. <laughs> but it looks like Jadi is trying to get around behind. Is gonna try to maybe pink out, pick on poor Sun Wukong. And there she comes in, but Sun Wukong, I believe, has spotted it out, and he is going to bird his way out. And here comes the rest. Nope, they will break it off. Jadi going to be way back in the back, and surprise! There's Jadi and Sun Wukong. Sun Wukong is going to fight it, and Jadi has to ult. Has to ult. Sun Wukong will go ahead and use his bonus. And then bring it back in, taking out the Jaw D. You cannot assassinate Sung Wukong at this point in the game. He is too tanky, too much armor. You will run out of abilities now. Oh, that <laughs> had an extra delete in the jungle. This Freya starting to get scary and out of control at six and one. Been doing nothing but farming. There is the oh, ult. There is that, and there we go. There Taking him out. Cardi Hike really coming online. They have one, two, take three take kills. Taking down the four, five before. Leaving Sun Wukong all by himself. Poseidon tanking the tower. Oh, Are they going to get somebody in to take it? There. Now it looks like they're. Looks like they're gonna chase going down Sun Wukong team. instead of going for the tower. They're teamed up. Or are they going to, or they are going to is fire they're giant. going to Fire Giant? They the call is fire, fire Giant. They're gonna try to sneak that out. I believe Sun Wukong is coming. He will spot it out. Fire Giant is at half. Sun Wukong has seen that they are taking Fire Giant. Here comes the rest of Beatrice trying to convey on it. Sun Wukong is going to ult. Fire Giant's getting close. There is the dive. Who gets it in the 15th? And Carney gets the Fire Giant, but at what cost? Shamala Hamala Kumala guy is down. But he's not out. He's not out. Run, he does run, sleep run, it run. off. I think everybody still has a fire giant. Everybody oh, being off. back with extremely low health bars. Nobody died in that for Carney. He does sleep it off. I think everybody still has a fire giant. Everybody being back with extremely low health bars. And Carney yeah, High now, right now with fire giant. Okay, the the Izami trying to yeah, take out yeah, and will take a tower for. Be Beatrice, very good job by the Izami. Solo farming, trying to get caught up to everybody. And now, since Carney High has Fire Giant on five members, they uh, what do you think they need to be doing, Mr. Bosock? I think they need to be team fighting. They need to be getting together and finding out where Beatrice is, locate it, get them down. If they could get a team wipe, they could push two towers here. Oh, definitely, very easily. Nope. Jadi says, or Daji says, I do not want any part of that. Gilgamesh looking, looking through the jungle. Carney High seeming just a little bit trying to figure out what they're doing. It looks like they have this, they have this buff. But are they using it? What oh, they're going. Oh, there they go. The the call is Gold, Gold Fury. Fury. They're going. Yeah, they're going to take the Fury off the map while they while they have it. it take the oracles. It took a little while to make a decision. We'll see if that comes back to bite them. Yeah. Looks like the call is Freya going by herself and everybody else starting to look mid. 
possibly to push the tower. King Arthur is going to go back. Sun Wukong, though, solo laning by himself. He is up to level 18 now. Will he push tower? No, he's going to go back and help. He's going to go back and help. It looks like the siege is going to be on the mid lane tower. They have all five. Minions did take the tower. Looks like King Arthur is going to clear lanes, and the call is to take mid lane tower. This is a very good one. Very good call. King Arthur hardly taking any damage from the tower. Right? Yeah, yeah. King Arthur, I believe, built all tank pretty much. This will, this will open up the Phoenix. Oh, here comes Gilgamesh. But Gilgamesh taking the brunt, jumping into the middle of the enemy team with with Fire Giant. Probably not the best idea. Sun Wukong going to run back. He's running back. He's like, yeah, I don't think I want to jump into the middle. Here we go, and the call is to take the second tower. Here we go, and they are looking, they are staying back. They don't, doesn't look like Beatrice wants any part of that. And that is two exposed Phoenixes for Cerberus going in, ulting. Putting everybody back, and here comes the damage, but oh, is it no, going to be to... enough? Everybody going in. It looks like Cerberus very low. Morgan Le Fay very low. Taken there down. Is... Sun Wukong ulting. That's one. one. Down. Two down. Two down Two for down. Beatrice. There goes the Cerberus. That is three down. And down. none for Carney High. They will go ahead and push the Phoenix. Phoenix already down to half. King Arthur having to get out, and there it went. There is the there what is the good push by Carney. solo lane Phoenix. King Arthur having to get out. It seems like whoever has the best teamwork is really the ones that are starting to get the advantage. It does seem like that, and death timers are starting to extend at this point in the game. Death timers starting to extend. So. Carney High just kind of taking everything they can on their way back out, emptying out the jungle, taking everything that they can as we zoom around the map. It looks like Freya is at is is maxed out. Freya is maxed out at full build, level 20, 8, 0, oh, and 7. On that, on that, Carney getting level 19, level 19, level 19, and with their support at level 16. On the other side, the Beatrice team, level 17, 14, 16, 18, 19. Carney High with that fire giant really started. Well, doubled up the team deaths. I mean, and now it's 22 to 11. 22 to 11. And just like that, it was. Just like that, they have really taken a nice lead within this game, a 12,000 gold lead, which is a very, I would say, I would say not overwhelming, but a comfortable lead. No, right, there you go. But a comfortable lead. Here they go, Carney High going ahead. There's the, there's the ult, there's the Cerberus, and Cerberus, oh, well, Cerberus gets out. Oh, no, they did try to get away, but not enough. There goes the tower. Here we go. We'll see what happens. And they just go oh, in. Carney doing a great job of teaming up. Everybody's teaming up. The Fire Giant is gone. And they are going to. Oh, they're going to go mid. They're just going to do this by the book. Going yeah, mid. Taking out the mid lane Phoenix. Going to go ahead and do that. They do have minions up here attacking the Titan. They're going to go ahead and ult them out. They did lose one. They lost two. It is a two for two so far with Freya going to have to get out. But Cerberus, they left Cerberus behind to try and deal with it. Uh, they are on the chase. It looks like they're on the chase, but I think Carney High is just leaving. Leaving. And this is just minion damage. A little bit of damage on their Titan that will slowly regenerate, but just slowly. And it looks like Carney High, they're going to go back. Regroup. Regroup. Yep. Buy items. Let's see looks if the mattress like changes what they're, they've been doing, which is kind of being spread apart. Yeah. Looks like Beatrice. Oh, 
Morgan Le Fay and Cerberus have started the Fury with Sun Wukong trying to watch. They're going to see if they can't sneak this Primal Fury. That would help a little for sure. But at what cost? Well, I don't think I they don't can think take... Can do it. I, not the two of them. Not no. with just Cerberus. Well, and that Cerberus is going to have to get back. And again, they have the Izami. Cerberus does go ahead and be back. Looks like Carney High, Carney they are going to do this by the book. Camps. Taking Johnny more camps, taking their buffs, getting, their XP, getting their everything back. out, looking at Cerberus's build. Well, he does have not your standard build, but is, isn't maxed out at this point. Yep, Carney High. Oh, it's only one at level 19, and that's their support. Everybody else maxed out level 20. They are pushing, yeah, pushing both action. outer lanes with oh, empowered minions. Him. Looks like they got, and oh, got they found Gilgamesh a, with three of them right there with the big damage right dealers of Dodgy and Poseidon. And looks like they're grouping back yeah, up. Here's the Cerberus ult, but. I don't know if he's going to be able to handle that. I don't, but with no backup from the rest of his team. and down. Carney with a big advantage at this point. Yep, it looks like, are they going to, it looks like Freya's going to go and try to end it. Freya's not even worried about. Freya's just going to go and gain yep, the Titan. Yep, yep, the rest of Carney is, is going to, Freya taking out the Sun Wukong. And Freya, that was the ult from Wukong. Freya, Wukong trying to get out. And there we go with this, 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 this will definitely be it. Sun Wukong is the only guy alive on his team. And that will be the game for Carney High over Beatrice. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. Just clean right, right by the book. What a great game. What a great, absolutely great game.